The Hovermat Pro's patient repositioning offloading system, AIR, is used to assist caregivers with patient positioning, including boosting and turning and lateral transfers using AIR. By providing pressure relief of bony prominences to aid with Q2, reducing shear and friction when repositioning, and enhanced microclimate management, the system provides a solution to safely turn and reposition patients while reducing caregiver strain. The HoverTech air supply inflates the pro's air to cushion and cradle the patient, while air simultaneously escapes from the holes on the underside, reducing the force needed to move the patient by 80 to 90%. Product features. The HoverMap Pro's Air is a full-length, air-assisted mat that has a wipeable surface. There are handles down the length of the mat for ease of use and two turning straps on each side that can also be utilized with a lift for turning. There are four link straps located on each corner to reduce mat migration. The two air intake valves are located at the foot end of the mat, one on each side for easy access. The holding patch keeps the hover cover in place to reduce movement and bunching. The head and foot end indicators show proper patient placement. The QR code provides easy access to instructions for use and product videos. The weight limit for the Hovermat Pro's Air is 1,200 pounds. Placing product under the patient, log rolling technique. Ensure the patient and bed are in a supine position. Bend the patient's knee and roll them onto their side. Open the product and place lengthwise next to the patient. Unfold the pro's air furthest from the patient to the side of the bed. Tuck the other side under the patient as far as possible. Roll the patient onto their side toward the unfolded mat. Unroll the rest of the mat from under the patient to cover the bed. Place the patient back in a supine position. Straighten mat to remove any wrinkles. Attaching link straps to bed frame. Remove corner Velcro connecting straps from pockets and loosely attach to solid points on the bed frame or headboard to reduce mat migration. Repeat the process on the other three corners of the mat. Raise the head of the bed and side rails or follow your facility's protocol. Before safely boosting, turning, or transferring, disconnect straps from the bed frame. When straps are not in use, store in pockets. If using one caregiver, raise the side rails prior to mat inflation. Place the air supply at a convenient location. Insert the hose nozzle into either of the two hose entries at the foot end of the pro's air and snap into place. Press the variable speed button to ensure the patient is centered. When confirmed patient is centered, press the 39 inch hover mat setting on the air supply. Boosting repositioning. Ensure patient is centered on the pro's air. To ease boosting efforts, place bed in Trendelenburg prior to safely boosting. If using a single caregiver, raise the side rails. When the mat is fully inflated, use the handles under the edge of the mat to boost center patient into proper placement on the bed. You can use the adjustable settings on the air supply to straighten the mat to remove any wrinkles. Press the standby button to stop airflow. Bring patient back to a flat position. Remove hose. Attach Velcro connecting straps to bed frame to keep mat in place and reduce migration. Raise the head of the bed and side rails or follow your facility's protocols. Wedge placement. If using one caregiver, side rails must be raised. Ensure the patient is centered and inflate the pro's air and slide patient as close to the edge of the bed opposite direction of the turn. This will allow the patient to be centered on the bed when repositioned on the wedges. Lift in place. Hold the edge of the inflated pro's air and gently lift to insert the wedges. Place wedges between the bed and device. Locate the patient's sacrum. Insert the tail of the wedge just under the patient's thighs. Ensure the back part of the wedge is elevated until the position is set. Then lower the wedge down to secure in place with a hold fast foam. Place the standard wedge to support the patient's back about one hand's width away from the tailed wedge. Ensure the back part of the wedge is elevated until the position is set. Then lower the wedge down to secure in place with the hold fast foam. Pull the tail through to the other side of the patient to anchor the wedge. 
After the wedges are placed, make sure the sacrum is not touching the bed, floating. If it is, reposition wedges to ensure sacral offloading. Deflate the mat and reconfirm the placement of the wedges. Raise the head end of the bed and side rails or follow your facility's protocol. Hygiene Turn Hover Cover Replacement Wedge Placement Air Turn Ensure the patient is centered on the pro's air. With a caregiver on each side of the patient, fully inflate the pro's air. Slide patient as close to the edge of bed opposite direction of the turn as possible to ensure that when the patient is repositioned, they will be centered on the bed. Bend patient's knee. To turn the patient on their side, the caregiver furthest from the patient will gently push down on the pro's air at the patient's shoulder and hip, while the turning caregiver gently pulls up on the handles. Once the patient is turned on their side, the receiving caregiver will stay with the patient while the turning caregiver presses the standby button to stop airflow. If replacing the hover cover or performing a hygiene turn, the opposite caregiver will brace the patient on their side while the turning caregiver will release the handles and hold onto the patient's hip and shoulder to stabilize the patient. While the patient is turned, hygiene can be performed and hover cover removed and replaced. Locate the sacrum. Insert the tail of the wedge just under the patient's thighs. Place the standard wedge to support the patient's back about one hand width away from the tailed wedge. Lower the patient onto wedges. Pull the tail through to the other side of the patient to anchor the wedge. After wedges are placed, make sure the sacrum is not touching the bed, floating. If it is touching, reposition the wedges to ensure sacral offloading. Raise the head of the bed and side rails or follow your facility's protocol. Wedge placement with a ceiling or portable lip, single caregiver. Raise the side rails on the opposite side of the bed the patient will be turned toward. Ensure the patient is centered and slide patient as close to the edge of the bed opposite direction of the turn. This will allow the patient to be centered on the bed when repositioning on the wedges. Attach the shoulder and hip turning straps of the pro's air to the hanger bar which should be parallel to the bed. Raise the lift to initiate the turn. Locate the sacrum and insert the tail of the wedge just under the patient's thighs. Place the standard wedge to support the patient's back, about one hand's width away from the tailed wedge. After the wedges are placed, lower the patient onto the wedges. Ensure the straps are not underneath the pro's air. Pull the tail through to the patient's other side until taut. Check wedge placement by placing your hand between the wedges, confirming the sacrum is not touching the bed. If it is, reposition wedges to ensure sacral offloading. Raise the head of the bed and side rails or follow your facility's protocol. Lateral transfer. Ensure the transfer surfaces are as close as possible and lock all wheels. If possible, transfer from a higher surface to a lower surface. Insert hose into the air intake valve and snap in place. Press the variable speed button to ensure the patient is centered. When confirmed patient is centered, press the 39 inch hover mat setting on the air supply. Push pro's air at an angle, either head first or feet first. Once halfway across, the opposite caregiver should grasp the closest handles and pull to desired location. Ensure patient is centered on receiving equipment prior to deflation. Turn off the air supply and employ the bed or stretcher rails. If transferring back to bed, remove connecting straps from pockets and loosely attach to solid points on bed. The Hovermat Pro's Air is your solution to safely turning, repositioning, and transferring patients while reducing caregiver strain.